We've recently heard from some owners of the Projector Gen 2 power management system that their state of charge is incorrectly showing 0%. The issue has occurred after users have applied the latest firmware update, which was a major update to the system's state of charge calculations. This issue has only been causing inaccurate SOC readings on Gen 2 systems using a Projector 500 amp current shunt. Gen 2 system owners without this shunt will be unaffected. We understand this isn't the experience that you expect from your projector system, and we're committed to resolving it for you quickly. We're already working on a firmware patch to resolve this issue, but the good news for those of you who are already affected is that you can follow these straightforward steps to get your system up and running again. Before we begin, make sure the phone app, screen, and system are all up to date. Step one, press here on your display to ensure the power is off as indicated by the green icon turning gray. Step two, disconnect the AC mains plug from the system. Step three is the most important step of this process. And whether you're using a seven inch display, a four inch display, or using the phone app, the menu selections remain the same. On your display or device, go to settings, engineering settings, enter your password, select battery, and then type. Cycle from your battery chemistry setting to another chemistry then make sure to select Confirm. Then cycle back to your preferred chemistry and again, select Confirm. For instance, if you have a lithium iron phosphate battery, go from LFP to AGM, select Confirm, then back to LFP again and Confirm. Step four, after cycling chemistries, go back to the home menu, reconnect your AC mains plug and then simply wait for your battery to fully charge. This will take varying amounts of time depending on the actual charge state of your battery. You will know once your battery is charged because the SOC will now display a reading of 100%. Some users report their SOC jumping between 0 and 1%, but don't be alarmed and simply stick with it. The 100% reading is your confirmation that the battery is recharged. When you've done this one-time process, your system is back to normal and battery SOC functionality will be correct again. During this charging process, we suggest turning off as many loads as possible, both charge and discharge, to reduce downtime. This means demanding appliances such as air conditioners, inverters, and non-essential lighting. If you've got a fridge full of food, by all means, you do not have to turn that off. And of course, users with solar panels can still benefit from solar charging during this time. We appreciate this will interrupt the full use of your system, but it's a one-time process to ensure that your system runs accurately and it will keep your travels going until we're able to release a full firmware fix. If you need more assistance or want someone to talk you through it over the phone, the Projector Tech support team is here to get you back up and running. Whether you're on the job site or enjoying your holiday, we're here to help keep you moving.